Marijuana is the most common recreational drug used during pregnancy, and there are a lot of clashing opinions about it. But what did the data say? That's the topic of this week's Healthcare Trash. The effects of marijuana use during pregnancy are hard to study. We can't just randomize pregnant women into two groups and make one of the groups use marijuana for nine months to see what happens to their babies. But given the spreading changes in legalization, and especially given the potential treatment value for morning sickness, it's something we need to study. We know that the active component of marijuana is able to cross the placenta, but understanding the actual effects of marijuana consumption during pregnancy can be difficult. We've got plenty of observational studies, but different factors like use of multiple drugs, varying potency of different marijuana strains, and different ways of consuming marijuana make it hard to piece things together. In addition, Women who use marijuana during pregnancy differ in ways from women who don't, and those differences can have big impacts during pregnancy that are hard to distinguish from the impacts of marijuana use. And of course, marijuana use is associated with issues of both legality and social stigma, making it hard to get accurate data because not everyone is willing to admit to its use. So with all that being said, we'll head over now to the research. There are conflicting outcomes in the literature, but many systematic reviews and meta-analyses come out on the not-so-good-for-infants side. For example, a 2015 review highlights studies associating prenatal marijuana use with fetal growth restriction, stillbirth, preterm birth, and impaired cognitive function. A 2019 review reported support for some degree of increased risk of fetal growth restriction and neurodevelopmental problems. However, the studies highlighted by those reviews suffer from all the problems we previously pointed out, and most experts have agreed that we simply don't have the evidence to say what the effects really are and that women should err on the side of caution and avoid use during pregnancy. There was, however, a study published in 2019 that was designed such that some of the typical pitfalls in this type of research could be avoided, and they had a huge sample size. Their results suggest that significant risks are associated with prenatal marijuana use, including premature birth, placental abruption, infants being small for their gestational age, and newborns needing intensive care. There are, of course, confounders inherent to this study as well, so this definitely isn't the final answer but it is better quality evidence than what previously existed, and it does strongly suggest avoidance of marijuana use while pregnant. We still don't know important things like whether effects are different based on how much marijuana exposure occurs, when the exposure occurs, or in what way. For example, smoking versus eating an infused gummy. It'll be important to keep trying to understand all of this. At least 34% of marijuana users continued their use during pregnancy, based in part on the belief that it's safe for their baby. Solid data are necessary for individuals to make the best decisions for themselves and for their babies. Hey, did you enjoy this episode? You might enjoy this previous episode on the harms of marijuana. We'd appreciate it if you'd like the video, subscribe to the channel below. Consider going to patreon.com slash healthcare triage where you can help support the show, make it bigger and better. We'd especially like to thank our research associates, James Glasgow, Joe Sevitz, Edward Lillaholm, and Brian Nam, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral, Sam.